Thanks for listening to our daily devotional. The devotional today is from Genesis 25 through 27, Faith or Fear, Which Will I Let Control Me? Thanks for joining me once again in our study of God's Word. You know, we were reading uh, yesterday in the book of Genesis, the 25th through the 27th chapter, looking as God is continuing his promise that uh, through Abraham's seed, that seed, of course, is going to be blessed through Isaac. God made a, a choice, sovereign choice, used the events of that to bring forth that uh, Isaac was the child of promise, though Ishmael was born before him. But we see the progression of that, but in the midst of it, there's an event that uh, I looked at and I thought, you know, that's so horrible, yet it's occurring so often. In chapter 26, it uh, says that Isaac dwelt in Gerar, and the men of the place asked him of his wife, and he said, she's my sister. He feared to say, she is my wife, lest, said he, the men of the place should kill him. Now, you look at that, and how many times do we see fear that comes upon us for so many varied reasons? But one of the things that struck me is if you look back through the readings we've had so far, you go back to Genesis, the third chapter. Adam and Eve had sinned. God went down to the garden, and he says, Adam, where art thou? And Adam says, I hid myself. Why? Why would he hide from God? He was afraid. And then in Genesis 18 and verse 15, Sarah was told of the promise through Abraham that she and Abraham would have a child, but they were both very old. And she laughed. But then she lied to God, said, no, I didn't laugh. Why? Because she was afraid for she was afraid. And then in uh, chapter 20 and verse 11, Abraham, and you hate to think that this was a sad example to his son, we're not told that, but maybe Isaac knew about it, that Abraham feared for his life. He uh, didn't use that word, but he looked and he said, the fear of God is not in this place. And he was afraid that if they knew this was his wife, they would kill him. And then you get to chapter 26, and Isaac does the same thing. And you think about that and how fear controlled them to lie to God, to lie to others. And you know, each one of them knew of the great power of God, the great abilities, the promises, and yet they still failed because of fear. Well, 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter and verse 12 tells us that let him that thinketh he stand or take heed lest he fall. You know, you think of these as they faltered and failed in the face of fear. And you see how sorry that was. Why would that happen? Well, we need to make sure that we realize it can happen to anybody if we don't take control through what God has given us. And that which God has given us is faith. We've mentioned it before, 1 John 5 and verse 4. This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. You think about the idea, you know, uh, another sad passage over in the New Testament, Revelation 21 and verse 8. It says there, well, in verse 7, it tells us that uh, those who overcome will have eternal life. They shall inherit all things. He says, but the fearful, the unbelieving, the abominable, the murderers, the whoremongers, the sorcerers, the idolaters, the liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burneth with fire and brimstone. This is the second death. Fearful? You ever been afraid? I've been afraid. Does that mean I'm going to hell? No. I think it's appropriate that that word fearful is first because it leads to all of these others. You see, that, that lack of faith enables us to transgress God's law instead of trusting in him. Revelation, the second chapter and verse 10, we're told to be faithful even unto death. 
Adam was afraid to face God. He didn't trust God. You look and you find Sarah. She was afraid to face God and say, I laughed. I shouldn't have because I know who you were. But she didn't trust God. Abraham lied to Abimelech. He didn't trust God. Isaac lied to Abimelech. He didn't trust God. What is it that in my life I can let fear overcome my faith instead of letting my faith overcome the fears? It can happen to any of us. I pray it won't. I pray that we'll realize from these examples of old what can, and we will be vigilant, sober, because the adversary, the devil, he's after us like a roaring lion, 1 Peter 5 and verse 8. And he'd love for fear to take control of us. Let's not be fearful. Let's be faithful. And let's be ready to give an answer, 1 Peter 3 and verse 15, for the hope that we have. And I know that hope is sure because God said it. Go over and read Hebrews 6 verse 19. Thank you for listening. We live in a world that's a frightening place. Nothing wrong with being afraid, but act on that fear and do righteous things instead of letting the fear control you and push you into unrighteousness. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.